it's feeding time. Got all the little birdies here in the backyard. And we've got a beautiful fire going. It's about five o'clock in the afternoon here in Queensland, Australia. And uh, my son and his fiance are coming over and we're gonna have some Thai Penang curry that I've got cooking in the slow cooker. How lovely does that look, hey? Mmm, so we're gonna have some dinner and then we're gonna sit out here around the fire, warming our little toes. <laughs> but um, anyway, I need to get back to feeding the kookaburras. I don't know where they've all gone. They've all vanished now that I've come down the stairs. I'll be back in a minute. Let me walk up the stairs. <laughs> I'll go and sit down here. Okay, back in my little spot. And I'll throw out some chicken balls. Yeah, oh, there they all come. They're never far away, are they? You guys hungry are you? You're always hungry. Yes you are. You're always hungry. Is that good is it? It's been a beautiful day today. Sunday. It's going to be a cold night though. Very, very chilly night tonight. That's a big piece cookie. Hmm? You're going to take it away, are you? Just thinking about it. Off you go then. You're going to go up there. <clears throat> oh, I'm looking forward to look at the sitting next to that fire. Anyway, I'm going to go inside and check my dinner. So, um, yeah, you guys enjoy. And um, I'll enjoy my evening with my family. See you soon. G'day, guys. Welcome back. I'm going to do another bloom box today. This one, this box is uh, mahogany, which is like a cherry colour. And it's got the cream velvet interior, very luxurious. And I'm going to do this little six inch tile that sits in the top there. The box itself is seven inch square and then the tile six inch, it sits in top. So the other color that I've been doing is this one. You can see the difference in the color. Um, a little we got a little mark on it, a little spot of paint, obviously. So that's the difference in the colour. It's more brown and that's the um, the cherry. I think it's mahogany, but I'm going to call it cherry because it looks a cherry colour. So the colours that I've picked for this box, I wanted to do teal. Uh, and the one I did yesterday, just that little test piece, it's okay, but... The teal kind of took over. It looks more of a blue, really, than a than a green. It still looks pretty in there, don't you think? I won't attach it in there yet because it's. I just poured it yesterday, but I thought maybe um, this color would go nicely with it. This is something new that I've got. It's called rose gold. It's the Joe Sonia's rose gold. It just looks like a, a similar color, and I always think it's nice to have something similar in your painting t to match your um your frame so i'm going to go with that still using the teal and then instead of the aqua i'm throwing in some of the lighter green so we've got the rose gold teal green that's that one there it's called brilliant green and then i've got gray which is just black and white and then I've got black. <laughs> you can't even see that anymore. It's it's black. Um, and then I've got my white cell activator, two to one. So I'm going to see if those will match that box nicely. Hey? 
We'll see how that goes anyway. So those are my colours. Now I thought I'd show you how I just set this up. I've just got a tile and I'm going to put there just for my hard surface because this is not hard. And then I'm just going to get some masking tape, tear it off. You can use pre-bought double-sided tape, but I just fold it onto itself like that. So it makes a little loop. And then I stick that down there. And then this little cake spinner is just an old cheaper one from um, eBay. And that can sit on there like so. So that's going to create my little spinner. And then another piece of tape just to attach the tile that I'm pouring on onto the cake spinner so it doesn't just fly off. You don't need a lot there. It's just, just something to, you know, help it stop flying off. And I'll try and make it centred. I can feel under there where it is and then push it down. And there we go. There's my little homemade spinner, hey? And because it's not a very high spinner, it's not like the cake turntable that I've got over there, which is high, and it spurts right out and I need my big doggy pool thing to catch the paint in. This just flies off and sits about here. So you can get away with just using this piddle pad to catch your drips. I've uh, got my little blower. It was just a hair curling brush thing that I took the end off, put a medicine cup on. It works really, really well because it's only a thousand watts. My hair dryer was way too strong. It just blew the paint right off the whole tile. So this is much better. And I only have it on low and on cool. Right, I've got my colours. What shall I start with? I might start with teal. And then some of that. And then some black, and then some of that, and then some grey. Mm, maybe not. Maybe the other way around. No, but then I haven't got any green up there. I'll probably do a few layers. I'll do a few layers. Okay, so we'll put some. I might zoom you in first. So that's my cell activator. It's two to one, which I love because it gives me really strong lacing that doesn't break and stretch all out of shape. Two parts flow troll, one part Amsterdam titanium white. I'm not going to go through the whole recipe again because it takes forever and I do it like in most of my videos. So you can just, you can always check back on my previous video. Shall zoom you in now because it's just a bit easier to see what I'm doing, isn't it? I zoom you in. We're focusing, uh, focusing on something. It doesn't know what to focus on. <laughs> it's got nothing there. Righto. Now, my gloves. I've got my dirty gloves, my recycled gloves. Let me put those back on if I can get into them. They haven't stuck together. Oh, a little bit, not too bad. <laughs> I'm getting a few uses out of each of my gloves. There we go, blew into it, that works. Right now, let's put down the pillow. Who knows how many times I'm gonna to have to do this to get a good one. Because I haven't used these colors before, so I'm not sure what they're going to do. So I may have to do it a few times, but that's okay, you know, it's not a lot of paint. And these boxes are expensive uh, for me to buy and for me to sell. So, you know, I don't wanna just throw any old painting on them. It has to be a good painting, well, as good as I can get it anyway. And, um, yeah, I have to be happy with it. So I'll be doing it a few times if I have to. All right, there we go. Put a little pillow on. Let's open the nozzle up. Put down some teal. So the colour that you put down first is generally the colour that you're going to see most of. And that's the rose gold. Oh, doesn't that look pretty with the teal? Mmm, maybe I don't even need the green. Maybe I'll just put a little splash of green on. Some black. 
for some contrast. A little bit of this green, again, for contrast. So you have your light and your dark. Um, and then I'll put the grey down. Didn't really see the grey much in the last pour. And then I'm going to do some more teal over the top. And then finish off with some rose gold, like so. Actually, maybe a touch more black. Just a little bit. All right, let's see how that goes. Make sure you've got enough paint on the surface there that it's going, you've got enough to spread out without it thinning out too much. Because if you only get like a tiny little puddle like that, you're never going to get your paint to go all the way over to the edges. And it'll just be all overstretched and you'll see a lot of white coming through underneath. So there's my little puddle, not too big, or you end up with a huge white centre. Okay, wow, that um, rose gold's quite dominant, isn't it? But uh, yeah, we may have to do this a few times just to see what the colours are going to do together and if I like the green in it or, or not. But let's spin it and see what happens. I messed up my clean puppy pedal pad. All right, let's go again. I can't really tell just yet. I've got too much white left in the middle. I like how that teal's popping through there. Big spin that time. See, the more you spin off, the more the colours kind of spread and then the other colours come up from underneath. So that's, that's really pretty, that teal against the rose gold. <clears throat> um, the grey, yeah, it never really comes to the party. I think it's a bit thin. A little bit of green down here. What do you think of that green? I might take the grey out because it's not really doing much and just have the green and uh, cut down on that rose gold a little bit. Hmm, that is pretty down there, that little bit of green. Tiny bit of green there, tiny bit of green there. I didn't put much on, hey. Right, let's scrape that baby. <clears throat> Sorry to say. And I don't like the big white blob in the middle. Whoops. The problem now is it's stuck to my tape. <laughs> All right, I'll just show you. Oh, wrong way. See, I don't like that big white blob. But that green on the side there is quite pretty, isn't it? So let's get rid of that one. And we'll... Take the grey out, use less of the rose gold and a little bit more of the green, eh? Hey? And see if we can improve on that one. And the only way you're going to know about how your colours are going to work together is by doing a practice. So little, little canvases or little tiles like this are great for practising on, you know, to get your colours right. Work out what you like, what you don't like. Okay, let's go again. Teal. I'll go green. Black. A little bit of rose. to the teal a little bit more green oh, maybe that's not a good idea <laughs> I don't want it to be too green a little bit of black okay there we go so that's no gray only one layer of the rose gold a little blob of white not too much and you'll end up with a big white centre. 
we won't be able to move it. That was quick. Now, I didn't have very much white, so I didn't get to spread it very fast. So you've got a lot of rings around the outside there that don't have any colour on them. But that's okay. The blower, you know, blew them out. But if I'd had more white, they would have spread over those rings more. But they're going to get spun off anyway. Let's see what this looks like. Wow. I just hope we've got some of the rose gold showing up now. Look at these stripes on the outside. They do need to go, but they just look so pretty. It's a lot of black in this one. Obviously didn't need to have that extra little squiggle of black over the top. Looks very forest-like. The black and the green. A dark, spooky forest. No, not spooky. <laughs> That's really pretty, but yeah, I've only got a tiny little bit of the rose gold there. And that corner still needs to go off. So let's go again. See, I haven't got the big white centre in this one like I did on the last one. Oh, I really like it, you guys. But I just needed more rose gold. Well, maybe not. Maybe I can just have, can be not a rose gold one. Just because the other colours are so, so amazing with that black. What if I try and spin it again, get that little bit of rose off and that little black corner off there. And then I can use this for something else. <laughs> I can put rose gold in another something else, hey? It's still there. It looks odd just having that tiny bit there. So I either need to get rid of all of it or re-pour. Let's see if I can get rid of a little bit more. And if it's no good, I'll just I'll redo it. I can still see it there. See, now it's starting to be a little bit overstretched, I think. I can still see it there. I'd have to spin a lot off to get that last little piece off. Oh, my gosh, those colours, you guys. The teal against the lime. Oh, that is amazing. I wouldn't mind just keeping that for something. Actually, that would look quite nice in my other black box. I might keep that one because I just love it. What do you think? Oh, it's really hard to pick these up now. I'll try to get underneath. And you're not going to see. Oh, I'm taking the spinner with me. How am I going to get the spinner off now? It's stuck. <laughs> I don't know. All right. Let me show you this one. Come around the back of the table. Try not to drop it. Oh, look at that. That's so pretty. The teal looks as if it's luminous. Looks like it's glowing in there. Wow. All right, I'm keeping that one. Wasn't what I was expecting, but I love it anyway. I just have to try and get it off my turntable now. I'm just going to put you on pause for a sec while I do this because it's going to take a while for me to get it, it off. Right, so what do you think of that on there, on black? Oh, have a little look through the screen, I think. Can't really see very well. I think that would look really, really good on the black. Remember I said you need to have something in your painting to match your frame or your box or whatever. So I think it's going to have to be that one in there. Put it down again for a minute. And uh, yeah, that's what I will do. And uh, I'll pour another one with uh, that rose gold. All right, thanks for watching, guys. See you soon for the next one. Bye for now.